All right, Chris, we've seen how the makeup, form, and dose of a vaccine can determine the correct um, NDC to HCPCS code or CP code crosswalk. Um, what else can factor into the correct code selection? Sure, so plan policy can affect the code to the NDC crosswalks. For example, CMS stopped accepting claims billed under the, tra the traditional CPT code for uh, trivalent influenza and instead required a billing for each brand named vaccine under its own code for Medicare patients. So in the example below, you would see the CPT code 90658, but a temporary Q code, which is brand specific to Afluria. Okay, great. Um, what would happen if I submitted a Medicare claim under the CPT code instead of the Q code? Well, payment could be denied. Okay, so how do I ensure that I use the correct billing code? Well, there are several references to check, including payer policies and manuals, the CMS website, which includes annual vaccine reimbursement rates, you can also obtain specific billing guidelines from your practice specialty groups, such as the ACP, American College of Physicians, AAP, American Academy of Pediatric, AAFP, the American Academy of Family Physicians, and manufacturers may also provide guidance on their drugs. 